Aircraft carrier Cavour set sail yesterday to Norfolk, United States, for the Ready for Operation campaign. The Italian Navy flagship, under command of Captain Giancarlo Cipina, and with a crew of about 600, including officers, NCOs, ratings and volunteers with a term of service, men and women from all over Italy, departed from Taranto on 28 January to conduct training activities in the Ionian Sea. Today, its Cavour has received the salute of the Defense Minister, Lorenzo Guarini, accompanied by the Chief of Defense, General Enzo Vecchirelli, the Chief of the Navy, Admiral Giuseppe Cavodragone, and the Naval Fleet Commander-in-Chief, Admiral Paolo Tru. The aircraft carrier, now heading towards the Strait of Gibraltar, is set to reach the U.S. Naval Station in Virginia, on the Atlantic coast of the United States, to obtain certification to operate F-35Bs. This is a key event for the present and future of the Italian Navy, as Admiral Cavo Dragone highlighted in his Guidelines for 2021, a strategic enterprise for our country, which is scheduled, in the first half year, to obtain certification to operate on board the F-35Bs that will be in service with the Navy, an essential requirement to achieve, in compliance with the Defense Minister's guidelines, the aircraft carrier's initial operational capability by 2024 with fifth-generation aircraft, which will be followed by a more specific training to ensure full interoperability within the naval force as a whole. For two years, aircraft carrier Cavour has made preparations, since she entered the dry dock in the Taranto Naval Dockyard, in 2019, to face a period of modernization and upgrade works, lasted until May 2020 required to take the significant and complex generational leap to operate F-35Bs. The Italian Navy, in accordance with the Defense Minister's guidelines, is making every effort to ensure the operativeness of the naval instrument, in full cooperation with the carrier groups of the U.S. Navy and the navies of United Kingdom and France, as Admiral Cavodragone said. The Chief of the Navy also underlines that these high-level technical and operational commitments are essential to enhance the peculiar expeditionary potential as enabling factor for the whole national military instrument. With the delivery to the Italian Navy of the first JSF aircraft in the F-35B STOVL short takeoff and vertical landing variant, which are going to gradually replace the AV-8Bs plus, the Ready for Operations RFO campaign will ensure the renewal of the aircraft carrier's strategic capability, pride of the Italian Navy, defense and country as a whole. It is an unavoidable change of pace, as the 30-year-old AV-8B aircraft are no longer suitable to be deployed in current ever-changing and challenging scenarios, characterized by higher risks for the security and safety of our pilots, naval forces or amphibious, land troops to defend. The new F-35B state-of-the-art aircraft of the most sophisticated air forces of modern armed forces, will enable the Italian Navy to join an elite of few countries in the world able to rely on an aircraft carrier capability with fifth-generation fighters at the moment, together with those of United States and UK, and, in future, Japan too. Such a privilege will generate a major technological advantage and absolute superiority. Fifth-generation fighters are characterized by very low observable stealth, which implies a definitive advantage in terms of maximization of lethality and survivability. The JSF is a highly maneuverable fighter, whose cutting-edge sensor and communication suite allows the pilot to mainly focus on mission objectives. The renewal of the aircraft carrier's capacity, for a country with a marked maritime vocation such as Italy, will enable the maximization of the ability to protect the country's vital maritime interests, with increased versatility, efficiency and even very far from homeland, or wherever the interests of our nation or the international community may be at risk. During the RFO campaign, along U.S. coasts, the Integrated Test Force ITF team of the JSF Joint Program, including engineers and test pilots, will test the compatibility and integration of the new aircraft on board the carrier, using all the unit's subsystems and sensors upgraded for this purpose during the preliminary works, and testing the ability to fly the jet safely in all weather and environmental conditions, in order to accomplish the assigned missions. During the ship's preparation for departure to the U.S., in addition to the usual preliminary activities including training, stock replenishment, delivery of materials and spare parts, all necessary measures and specific COVID-19 protocols have been implemented to protect the health and safety of personnel operating on board the naval fleet units.